How to create mockups on Canva for Etsy. So hi guys, the first thing that we need to do here is to go to Etsy.com just to give you an overview or an idea of how mockups are very important in this page. So basically, most of the items here at Etsy are actually customized. So the designs vary from the different kinds of items that are being sold. So for example, like the keychains here, um, the picture frames, the boards, or even this kind of, you know, baby items. So in order for us to see if a lot of sellers are using mockups, we'll just search in for mockups. All right. Once we have searched in mockups, we can see that there are a lot of items that have a mockup here. Because as I mentioned a while ago, um, in Etsy, there are more customized items that you can buy, which is very unique from other designs. All right. So here you can see a lot of sellers are using mockups for their pages or for their seller's account. So today I will be teaching you on how to make a mock-up on Canva. So Canva is very helpful for, you know, digital marketing, especially for like it's known for making presentations, social media, um, making websites. But for today, we're going to focus on mock-ups. So here in our customize size section, let's click on that one. Now let's just input the width and height of how much we would like to have it. So for example, I would have 12 by 12 and that would be in inches. So let's create, right? So let's have 12 and 12 inches and let's create a new design. All right, so here we have a perfect square, basically. And then what we're going to do is do simply like look for mock-up templates. All right, so in this section, you can see a lot of mock-up templates, basically. So if you want to have like a social media type of mock-up, then you can actually use these kinds like for the mobile. All right, there. Here, this is also one very common mock-up that we can see in most social media accounts. All right, but I want a personalized mock-up, so I'm gonna start right from scratch. Okay. So first things first, I just want to have a plain background for now. So let's click on the color scheme here. So in this one, I will be using a yellow color. Okay. And I'm going to use this shade of yellow for my background. Okay, now we can actually add or upload our photo. So for example, we do have a photo in here. Let's just download our t-shirt. And input it here. All right, let's just resize this first. Okay, there you have it. Now, all we need to do is to emit, uh, edit the image. As you can see here, there is actually a background remover, but this is only available for Canva Pro users. So if you are a Canva Pro users, this would be very useful for you guys. All right, so let's make use of this one. Now I want to add this design of mine into my t-shirt and simply reposition it wherever you want in the shirt.
All right, so there you have it. Let's make it smaller. Okay. So there, there's like an example mock-up of our t-shirt design. All right. Okay, now once done editing or repositioning, um, let's try to make other products. So let's add a page in here. Now let's have a different design for our product. So for example, we are going to have a notebook markup. Or notebook. Let's just search on notebook. All right, so we can't see notebook here. Perhaps we can check on notebook covers. All right, there. So a while ago, I have clicked on design, but the thing that we're looking for is actually in the element section. Okay, now here we can see that we have different kinds of notebook designs. And since I am actually a Canva free user, not the pro user, let's look for a notebook. All right. Let's try to search for a mock-up of a notebook. As you can see, we can't actually see any mock-up for notebooks. So let's try to look for another um, element, uh, for instance, mug. Okay, now you can see a lot of mug designs in here actually. However, most of the designs for mock up are actually for Canva Pro users. All right, so let's make use of. this one, for example, okay. All right. So if you remove the watermark, actually, um, you would be needing to pay for that one. Okay, now simply add or put our design in here. And there you have it. Uh, you have a mock-up of a mug already. So that's about it for today's video, guys. Uh, the last thing, of course, that you need to do is to share and download the image. All right. And lastly, upload it to your Etsy account. So that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for